Hello, this is a demonstration that's going to show the differences between El Nino and La Nina, but also upwelling and downwelling. I have a clear container with room temperature water, and I'm going to be adding different densities of water to it so you can see the stratified layers of the ocean. First, I'm going to add some yellow cold water. I put food coloring in them just so you can see the different layers. Remember, Cold temperatures make water more dense, and salt also makes water more dense. So I'm going to add a really dense water. As I add it, pay attention to the flow as it goes down. Can you think of a current that ha forms from a high density water flowing down the shelf and onto the slope? This is a vocabulary word from our topography unit. I'm going to pour it on the beach here. And you see it going down the slope. What's the name of that rapid movement going down the slope due to a high density water? Your hint is it starts with a T and it forms our submarine canyons. I'm going to give it a second to let that water settle out. Next, I'm going to add cold, fresh water. Remember, cold water makes it dense, but the fresh water makes it less dense. So this isn't going to be quite as dense as the yellow water. Can you predict where it's going to go? Okay, notice, if you look over here, you can see it flowing on top of the yellow layer. So it's below the clear layer, but on top of the yellow layer. Again, I'm going to give that a minute just to settle out. I'm going to add warm fresh water. So the warm water will give it a low density, but the, also the fresh water aspect is going to also give it a lower density. So can you take a second and predict where you're going to see the red water go? Again, I'm going to give that a minute to settle out. And the first thing you're going to do on your paper now is to draw what you see. You can pause the video, make sure you include four layers, not just three. Remember to include four layers that you can see. Okay, moving on to procedure B. We're going to take the hair dryer and we're going to blow parallel as to represent winds like global winds going across the water from the deep end. So the winds are going to be coming from the deep ocean and going towards the shore. I want you to look carefully to see where the water is going. Try to notice if you see any upwelling or downwelling and also try to look to see where that red water goes. Okay, see some of the red?
starting to move this way. Once it gets to shore, it doesn't really have anywhere to go. So do you see how the red layer is getting thicker over on uh, the side, the shallow side by the shore? Notice this yellow over here. It's kind of creeping up a little bit. It's not coming up to the top yet, but you see right there, it's coming up. Okay, next you're gonna have to draw a diagram showing what you saw on, I think it's on the back part of your paper. You can include arrows to show the direction of movement of the red, um, the red water and the yellow water. You may pause the video to do that. Okay, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to now blow the wind from the shallow end and push the water out to sea. Again, try to notice where the red water is going and um, the yellow water. I see we mixed the water a little bit, but if you look, we still have a very stratified ocean. We have yellow down here. I see blue. I don't know if you've seen the video, but I do see a small layer of clear and then red. There was a little bit of mixing, but still pretty stratified. Okay, let me do it from the shallow end. Okay, so I'm looking at some red coming down this way. So it's coming over and coming down. And then you can try to predict, maybe it's hard to see, but where would this water go? If this Top layer is coming down. This bottom layer has got to be getting closer to the sh shallow end. Let's see what high looks like. There, you can easily see it that. That. Now, take some time to answer the questions. And that concludes our demo.